Hey, Alex Forte here, the Art of Simple Golf. I'm gonna give you a nice little drill that you can practice at home a little bit to improve your downswing and your impact position. Because what can happen, and it's even a fault of mine, if I'm honest, but I see it all the time with all the swings that I get to see, that so many golfers, when you're trying to sort of hit at the ball or through the ball, there's like this over urgency to not only hit at it, but hit it as hard as you can and that rushing sensation. And what happens is that over the top kind of move happens this way, the slice happens and you know inconsistent shots occur. It's not great, but there is an easy fix to slow down the transition without having any negative impact and only positive, literally, impact on your swing. So let's try this simple drill. This drill is, we've done a couple of other videos uh, a bit similar to this, and all it is, is a way to really train yourself to stop that, as I mentioned before, that kind of over the top move where we're sort of here and coming over the top where the, we're spinning a little bit. That's what we don't want. The divot going to the left, the shot kind of a bit squirrely, and a lack of power. The feeling that we want, and, uh, and you know, there's, I'll try and put a link to that other video below, is where we're waiting for it, but allowing the body to, you know, the arms to drop first, and feeling like the back is to the target just that little bit longer, okay? But the caveat um, that I want with this drill is sometimes when we're still trying to sort of wait a little bit and allow the arms to drop, we're still a bit too bent up here. So we kind of get into this position trying to hold that lag. And what happens is we have to catch up and sort of straighten the arms. And, and that's a variable that is very difficult to repeat all the time. So we ideally want to have the arms a little bit straighter, a little bit earlier, but keeping that back to the target. So we kind of get into the impact position about here, okay? And then swing through. That's that kind of compression and consistency that you want instead of having to rely so much on that kind of timing all the time from this high position. And from this, this angle, I'll show you, we're kind of up there and that's what can happen. Even if you kind of wait for it a little bit, the arm is a bit too bent and you might feel like you're in a slot, but if we were to just kind of carry on through, you're gonna miss the ball. So we have to extend down in that position. And that's where heavy shots come from and just general inconsistency. Not great. So we have a drill to ideally fix it. And as I said, this is kind of a little problem for me as well at times uh, because I get a bit eager and it, it comes from my tennis days sort of being in this position and just sort of rotating through, which is marvelous for, you know, uh, the majority of the time. However, my mic's just coming a bit loose there. Uh, however, we want a bit more consistency, okay? So, enough waddling on. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna do the split hand drill. So you're gonna take your uh, club and grip it with the right hand, just about where the shaft is. And you're gonna make your regular backswing, okay? Making sure that your hips are going, making sure that your core is going, but you're getting behind it easily. No strain, no resistance, just letting those arms glide. And from this position, what I want you to do is keeping, you know, your back to the target, and keeping this right shoulder from spinning that way, we're just gonna straighten those arms to here. That sort of pumping action. And it's that unhinging of the right elbow there. That's the feeling that we want there. Because from that position, see how much lower my arms are as I come through the ball? We're gonna get that uh, shallower angle of attack, shallower divots, and less variable from here to here. Now, this isn't something that comes naturally to me, as I said, and nor does it for a lot of other people, but this drill, you can practice at home, just trying to enhance that feeling. So it's that kind of pump, that sensation where the right shoulder's staying back, the back's staying to the target, and then we sort of swing through. Now, I don't want you to feel like you're just hitting at the ball. That's not what we want because it's always about there. It's always about where we want the ball to go. It always has to be about through, but we can get through better if we hit this sort of uh, placement and then rotate through. 
So practice that, you know, uh, as much as you like, really, that sensation, keeping the right shoulder back. Start slow at first. Feel like you're unhinging this right elbow a little bit, a little bit earlier, getting into that position, and then coming through. And just trying to ingrain it as much as you can. And let's say you're on the practice range, just hit, you know, do about five swings, practice swings like this, keeping the back to the target, swinging through, and then just go ahead and just make a, a regular golf swing and hit a shot. And just try and build and improve upon that. It's simple, it's very effective, and it will sort of give you that sensation of that delay and then accelerate instead of just spinning from the top, hoping for the best. So, hope you liked it. If you have any questions, leave them below. And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel and click that little notification bell because it helps share the video and it gets you notified about when the next lesson comes up. So, we've got a really cool series of lessons as well. And we offer coaching services and all that stuff. So, follow the links below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.